Now, you consider yourself a bit of a geek, do you not? I do. <laughs> you consider yourself a, is nerd, do you prefer nerd or geek? I'm, I'm okay with either, or I mean, some people like to dip, my mom, you know what my mom says? She says, Nathan, you, you, you have the, here's your advantage, you, you're, you're very geeky, but you look mainstream. Right. <laughs> that's nice, that's right. a mom, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. What's like a geeky uh, uh, appliance or toy or anything that you have in your life right now that you are particularly excited <coughs> I about? Have, I have four lightsabers. <laughs> and you know what I love? You just said that like I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put all my cars on the table. <laughs> <laughs> one of the lightsabers actually breaks in half and it's because it's a double-ended one, so I actually have five. So there's five lightsabers <laughs> in the house. If I had a nipple for every time I had a nipple. that. <laughs> For every lightsaber. But I, but there's a, there is a double, I know there's a double-sided one, so you have many, you don't just have one lightsaber. No. And when you're talking lightsabers, you're not talking the plastic cheap ones. No. You're talking the high end. You turn them on, they light up, it, like they, they light from the end to the tip, mm. they make the noise. Yeah. They, they, you can tell, you can tell when someone was born, when they come over to the house, they pick one up and they turn it on, just the reverence they have for it. <gasps> and in their mind, you know, they're, they're like, if I was a kid, and I had this when I was a kid. <laughs> It had been over. This is all I would have done, ever, ever, ever. Yeah. And it's fantastic. Now you got like a bunch of people. It's just in the right age group when Star Wars really was something, and and we're all whipping these things around, going, "This is great!" But then you come into it, like you're gonna fight at it, but you eh, you stop short because these are expensive. <laughs> That's the worst. So you have you you get close and like, "No, don't touch it! Yeah, don't touch it! Don't touch it!" Yeah, it's like a, it's a cutaway. Yeah. Okay. We'll That's... cut to the aftermath of the battle when one guy's got one arm and because yeah, they're very ex this. they're expensive. These are these are very these are yeah. They're not indestructible. They make a noise when they clash, but you just every that you think, "Ooh, was that too hard?" <laughs> That's not how you're supposed to do it. Yeah, I don't think. <laughs> what about? Um, I thought, I thought you'd have uh, advice for us being, uh, you know, a, a self-confessed geek. Uh, we are taking our show to Comic-Con, we announced, and I was curious what your take on that was. We're gonna do a, our show at Comic-Con next year. First of all, here's what I love about Comic-Con. The anticipation all year, and then, and then everybody's just ready, and it's, it's like a weekend-long orgasm. Everybody's going, oh, it's finally here, it's all. <laughs> And, and there's a, just a real feeling of community. Everybody's super duper excited. You, are, you gonna, are you gonna dress up? Yes, I think so. Yeah, I've already tested out. I'm, here I am as Thor. I, <laughs> I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm getting that. Yeah, thanks for wooing that sarcastically. They didn't, they didn't, uh, have, the, didn't have the big hammer? No, I haven't got to say. I'm not, I haven't gotten the hammer proportions right <laughs> just yet. You, you actually look like a little kid. <laughs> I do. A I look like a child hammer. that found a Thor outfit. <laughs> I hope I don't get caught with this Thor outfit.